Hey everyone, I want to thank all of our subscribers and those who support Gold Wolf Digital. If you're enjoying Gold Wolf Digital videos, you can show your support by doing a couple things. Number one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Number two, hit the notification bell. And three, like and comment. Doing this helps others discover our channel in the sea of videos on YouTube. Hello, good day, and welcome. I know what you're thinking. Where's Jason? That's not important. What is important is getting you all some helpful information on some new video equipment. More importantly, this 15.6 inch OC monitor. Yes, we finally got our hands on a large field monitor, the LCM156A. It's a 15.6 inch monitor and puts out 10 bits of color. OC dropped the price 30% until November 19th, so it was a must have here at Gold Wolf. And even at full price at $10.99, it's still four times cheaper than the closest competitor. But we'll get to that later. So how is it? Should you buy one? Is this monitor for you? Yes, this monitor is beautiful, well-crafted, the image is sharp, and the colors are accurate. Getting your hands on the latest and greatest toys is always fun, but is it the right fit for you? A 15.6 inch monitor is not typical for a single shooter on the field. They probably won't find a large monitor necessary, but one could find it helpful in a studio situation. Interviews and even single show YouTube vloggers can make use of a large screen monitor for accurate framing and focus assisting. Being able to sit down and have your eyes on a big clear image is comforting. In that aspect, the monitor then becomes future-proof for when you make your transition from videographer to director. You might find this monitor helpful because of the large real-to-life frame of view. If you find yourself in any situation where other people may want to have input on what goes into the video, this monitor is perfect. Anyone who's within 178 degrees of view can accurately see the screen. Anyone who's looking to build even a skeleton crew will find this OC monitor handy. So, what does it come with? Our kit came with a carrying case, V-mount battery, baby pin receiver, and cheese plate. If you don't have a C-stand, the OC comes with desktop feet, and if you don't have a V-mount battery, it comes with an AC power cord. So yes, you can have unlimited power, or you can choose to take the show on the road with V-mount power. The 10-bit displays offers 1.70 billion colors with 1920 by 1080p resolution. The exact same specs as the small HD's monitor, but costs four times less. You get all the same functionality, histograms, vector scrubs, waveforms, time codes, audio meters, markers, mono, individual RGBs, zebras, peaking, focus assisting, false color, IMD displays, LUTs. You could even change the aspect ratios for anamorphic lenses. The biggest difference I've seen between the monitors is the nits. The LCM156A comes with 300 nits. We took it outside and as long as you don't put it in direct sunlight, you get good picture. The screen isn't extremely reflective and the carrying case that it comes in doubles as a sun hood, a big sun hood. The back zips open so that you can access the back of the OC monitor. You look at big film crews or even outdoor sporting events and you'll see that even they struggle with monitor brightness. More nits doesn't exactly equal reflection proof. Some tips to keep in mind when powering this monitor. Once your V-mount battery is attached to the plate, the monitor automatically turns on and will stay on. You can put it to rest by pressing and holding the power button on the front of the monitor, but unless you completely remove the V-mount battery, it remains on. This means that it will drain your battery, so if you have shoots the next day, you'll want to pull them off. The on and off switch on the back of the monitor is only for AC power and will do nothing for V-mount batteries. When the 156A is powered on, it only takes 10 seconds to see a picture from the camera output using wireless connections. The latency is very minimal. It shouldn't bother you at all unless you're using a cheap transmitter or receiver. For us, we're using the Teradek, which works pretty damn good for latency. Now, that brings me to the one and only gripe with the monitor, the buttons. Navigation is easy and the display is simple to understand. If a function has more than one page, it tells you. You can set up four shortcut functions and have up to four user settings stored. But what I don't like is the feedback from the buttons. They're a bit squishy for my taste and even pressing them normally gives the LCD some break towards the bottom. 
but the response is accurate and as long as it's not laggy, I guess I can't really complain. All in all, it's a great device and it's a gorgeous piece of equipment to have in your arsenal. OC really hit it big with the LCM 156A. Now let's compare the OC to its much more expensive equivalent, the small HD. We considered going small HD, but for the specs and the price, it's a no-brainer. The OC is made out of some really strong material, and really for $3,000 more, the comparison of 300 to 900 nits, we're happy to eat the difference. So what are your thoughts on this larger field monitor from OC? Will you be adding it before the sale ends? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Just click the notification bell to be notified when new videos drop. And thank you to all of our subscribers for your continued support. We appreciate every single one of you. Until next time, peace.